I had a little poll when I made my um my I think I made like a little quick short out of when I was done reading it, asking people like how do they rate it? it was like awesome or weak? <clears throat> There's a lot more people that voted for awesome than weak, but there was some people that thought it was weak. I didn't think it was weak. I feel like I just really appreciated the the character work that Toriyo Taro put into Bardock. Like he made in one chapter, he made this guy like so lovable. I like in 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 the in the most badass way possible. Like if you think about it, this is the mo this is the one time since maybe the 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 history of Bardock special that came out forever ago like this is like when that came out that's the most like story you really see for bardock himself outside of like you know the the uh the non-canon special where he goes super saiyan against chilled um and anything out of super dragon ball heroes none of that shit matters anyway and even with his moments at the beginning of the broly film Right, and this chapter, like, there was some, there was, there was, Bardock had time, they gave him time, like, they, they showed him off, and, like, they started to kind of get you warmed up for, like, okay, like, Bardock is really having some kind of, like, involvement here. And honestly, I just think this also, at the same time, it really plays into his popularity. Because I feel like, like, when you think about it, they brought him in. They started to bring his ass in with that Broly movie. Okay. To so that, I feel like Bardock definitely has high popularity value. And it, it, yo, it could even be maybe not as big as Broly's, but it could be up there. Because now that I think about it, it was Bardock and Broly that were the first DLC characters for Dragon Ball Fighters. This is a fact. They came together. That shit is crazy to even think about. But it's the truth. So maybe I was like, wow, like I just never, for me, because, you know, he was never my favorite. So I'm always looking at Broly. But I, it never occurred to me, like, yo, maybe Bardock really is that popular. And here he is having such a prominent role in this arc, even through a flashback. And they, and they took the time to really make you love this guy. And like, look at him like, wow, like he's Goku's dad and we are seeing where Goku gets his like fighting spirit and his, his care for others from, even though they're not like one-to-one, -one, but like Bardock is essentially Goku with a little bit more of an edge. That's it. And I think that shit is awesome. And I just loved how like, even through getting his ass whooped over and over and over, he still kept getting up and he still kept swinging even when the shit was tickling he just kept swinging and it's it's like the way he was fighting it was almost as if like bardock knew that as a saiyan he was going to reach a point where he would ascend right then and there like he was taking advantage of that like it was almost intentional is how i kind of got that because he was like because there was never a, think about it, there was never a point in this fight where he was doubting himself. He was like, oh my god, like, he's too strong. Like, he wasn't pulling a Vegito. Ve oh my god, Vegito used to always yeah. be like, oh, he's too powerful. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, nah. you know how he yeah. shits himself? Bardock did not shit himself once. My man had the clean undies, bro. Not a single drop. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the only thing that actually like irked me was that he lost his tail or some shit so like yeah but you that, know what even then he didn't even doubt himself he lost his tail and he still got a fucking power up from it no yeah, questions asked on the spot like like you would think like the tail cut off would cut his strength in half or whatever the case may be a he portion lose, something yeah he would lose something but i guess not dude wrong again <laughs> wrong again and that's dude that's what i'm that's that's the actually the, that's the point <laughs> that's the point that i'm trying to drive home for real is that like i just i really think that these saiyans have been truly overlooked for their entire existence i think they are they are so much stronger than meets the eye 
and i think bardock had a little bit of a intuition about it and he used it to his own his own advantage in a sense it's almost as like he knew as a condition i have to get my ass whooped and i have to put my all into it in order for me to surpass my current limit that, that's fire I mean, like that that I is mean, crazy the only counter to that though is if like the if the the villain in this case actually takes you seriously and fucking kills you before you could <laughs> well yeah of before course before you could do that shit then you're done but but that and that's that's always going to be the underlying like uh the groundwork right is like sure when you like the whole point is when you give the when you give saiyans the opportunity to actually go back and forth with you not even if it's not if, even if it's one-sided okay because that's when that's where the villains always fuck up is they feel like they're the shit they feel like oh like i'm way stronger i could toy around with this dude i could have fun and guess what happens they fucking they they, they play with their food too much and then they're gonna start choking and that's what happens you give saiyans too much time to actually allow them to surpass that shit they will they will it ha it happens we've seen this so many different times and like in order to defeat them you have to at first be so strong and just smack them down immediately you have to nip the bud immediately you cannot give them that opportunity that's the that is how you truly defeat the same think about it when beerus fought goku like for the first few rounds dead in super saiyan 3 dead mm -mm. straight shot to the neck that's all it took beers didn't have to try the knockout knocked him out i uh, man, remember when we were seeing it we didn't, we were fucking we we're sitting in the damn theater watching our favorite form getting fucking disrespected <laughs> demolished like super saiyan 3 <clears throat> went from being one of the most hyped memorable and loved form transformation moments in all of anime history to getting Jigglypuff rested. Beerus, Beerus might as well have had a marker and fucking started drawing on his face at that point. Just like you freaking said, Jigglypuff moment. Oh, that's that good shit.